Today, the nation and the world said their final goodbyes to President George H.W. Bush. It was quite a sight. Five presidents, world leaders, all gathered at the National Cathedral to honor the 41st president of the United States. Local 24 News reporter Anna Wernicke reports on this day of mourning. With full military honors, the flag-draped casket of President George H.W. Bush descended the steps of the Capitol one last time. A presidential motorcade made its way through the streets of Washington to the National Cathedral, where all living former presidents and President Trump were among the more than 3,000 who gathered to say one final goodbye to President George H.W. Bush. Dignitaries included Prince Charles, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, along with politicians from both sides of the aisle. They joined the Bush family at the service. Former President George W. Bush eulogized his father. He valued character over pedigree, and he was no cynic. He looked for the good in each person, and he usually found it. A great and noble man, the best father a son or daughter could have. And in our grief, by this smile knowing that dad is hugging Robin and holding mom's hand again. Washington motorcade. One final 21-gun salute. Then the presidential 747 renamed Special Air Mission 41 lifted off from Joint Base Andrews to fly the 41st president home. Reporting from Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke, Local 24 News. Well, tonight the former president will lie in repose at his home church in Houston ahead of his burial tomorrow.